Welcome back everyone to another video. Now, I know I've been on a little bit of a hiatus, but just like the title says, we're gonna be talking about mental health. Now, quick disclaimer, I am not a licensed therapist. I have no credentials as far as you know being a psychologist. So if you need help, please go and find it, wherever that may be, I'm not sure. The only tips I can give you is maybe go through your insurance if you have it, um, try and look online. There's plenty and plenty of ways to try and get it. Um, I found success through my family. Thankfully, you know, my cousin studied psychology and she was able to help me get in touch with the therapist. So I'll touch more on that later. Um, and if you need to talk to anybody, whether you don't have somebody there, you know, uh, there's going to be some links down there for the National Suicide Helpline that can help you if you're feeling that way. There's some organizations also that I hope to link. Uh, I'm going to have to research just to make sure that, you know, if you want to donate, you go to the right one. But anyways, uh, besides all those little disclaimers and things like that, um, I want to talk about mental health. I think it's a very important topic. I kind of wanted to touch on this more when I kind of had a, more of a following, if that makes sense. Because I, I don't know if this is going to work out, but... I, if I spend time doubting myself, you know, it's it's, it's not good. You, you never want to doubt yourself. But it is important to talk about this. And um, I feel now is the best time because i just gone through a lot of reflection and things that, you know, made me happier. Um, but anyways, uh, I guess let's just jump into it. Um, so to give you a little bit of backstory, um, I won't go into too much into detail as far as what's going on. But... Uh, my depression started when I was 13. Um, I had a lot of insecurities growing up, uh, just a lot of lonely feelings. And then unfortunately something happened to my family and that depression escalated. Um, it kind of combined and manifested into this thing and it gave me what I felt when I was younger. Uh, you know, at 13, I felt alone. I felt like committing suicide. And I know that's weird to say, you know, 13 year old wanting to commit suicide, but it happens you know like my life isn't easy um not for anyone younger either so that's where it kind of all started um then throughout the years just a lot of hard times um you know breakups uh losing things as far as like people and then unfortunately i started to deal with death and death is not fun to deal with um it's, it's especially hard when you deal with it at a young age uh i lost someone I was very close to when I was about 16. Um, fortunately, she passed away. So it was a lot to deal with um, growing up. You know, even now, I still deal with things. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, going into 24 and year 25 is coming up, which, you know, hopefully seeing the, the happier side now that everything's been reflected. But, you know, I've gone through a lot of shit as far as breakups and death and all of these kind of things that just suck you know I've, I've i've felt alone i've felt unloved i felt unvalued uh undervalued whatever you want to call it um i've gone through deaths of family and friends i've gone through breakups of people that i thought i was going to be with forever you know and it's it's crazy it's it's just all crazy but i'm still here and i'm still smiling and i want to tell you why um so in this period of reflection that I've had, you know, uh, something I told that same best friend that unfortunately passed away was, you know, I heard her out once and I remember the conversation because I said something that I didn't, you know, understand maybe when I was younger. Now that I think about it, it makes a lot more sense. But, you know, she asked, why are you there for, for me so much? And I was like, you know, I feel people deserve at least one person to hear them out in this life. You know, life is crazy, you know, like. I feel like everyone deserves a physical journal, not just, you know, something that doesn't talk back to you as far as a written journal or anything. So, you know, saying that was, it was, you know, something positive and some good. And I don't know if that kind of like sealed my contract of life and they decided, oh, so we're going to give you all of this shit to deal with. So then you can positively take that and do this. But I do feel all the things that have happened to me as far as all this is just so I can relate to people, you know, um, because I've been there. I've been depressed. I've thought about suicide. I've felt unloved. I felt everything, you know, and not to say oh, there's more to it. You know, I, God, I hope I don't deal with the divorce. I hope I don't deal with losing an arm or losing something like that, you know, physical, but 
a lot of things that people go through daily, you know, I'm able to relate, you know, and I think that's the most beautiful thing about all these experiences that I've had, you know, at only 24, um, going on to 25, you know, if I'm ever walking down the same street as you, if I'm taking the same bus as you, if I'm taking the same flight as you, what, whatever it is, if you've ever stopped me and for some reason you just decide I want to vent to you and you tell me whatever it is, you know, whether it's, hey, I lost my dad, I lost my mom, um, I lost my uncle, I lost my best friend, I lost uh, my lover, um, I'm going through a breakup, I'm going through a divorce, I'm going through, uh, you know, anything, you know, I'm able to relate to you. And I think that's the most beautiful thing about all these experiences that I've had, even though they're negative, you know, I'm able to see a positive light because I never want someone to go through what I've gone through alone, especially. And I've been blessed with so many great people in my life that have heard me constantly. And, you know, but I think that's the most beautiful thing is just that I'm able to relate to you. And, you know, life is insane. Life is a crazy, crazy roller coaster. You have no idea where it goes, you know, daily. But that relatability to have someone that you can lean on and, you know, just think about. He's like, oh shit, this person's gone through it. You know, this person has dealt with this. I want to pick his brain on what he felt, what he's gone through. And I'm an open book, so I don't even care. I'll absolutely tell you what I've felt and gone through and, you know, my thought process with it. Um, and I think that's the most beautiful thing about everything that I've gone through, you know. Um, and I don't mean this in any way to sound, you know, cocky or anything. Um... I don't mean that in any way at all, you know, it's from a very genuine place and, you know, I, I really do feel like I've gone through what I've gone through just so I can help anybody, you know, and I, I really hope I, I can, you know, whether this video helps you, whether whatever I do helps you, you know, I, I hope to help people and I like helping people. Um, but yeah, uh, to touch on, I guess, what my therapist has told me. Um, don't knock therapy too. Uh, I know I talked to get it, um, but guys, get therapy. It's so, so refreshing, you know? So refreshing to get an answer because that's what it helped me realize, you know? And I told her all about my life. You know, she was like, wow, you've been grieving for 11 years. I was like, grieving? I was like, this, that only happens when someone dies. You know, I've heard of that. Like I've watched TV shows where they talk about the cycle of grief and that's when I realized, like, oh shit. You know, grieving has to do with losses, and it could be anything, anything that you lose. You know, if you lose your dog, if you lose a friend, you lose a lover, you, you lose a parent, things like that. Even if it, this, they're not dead, the, the fact that, the I, I don't even know what to call it, the relationship-wise of all that, that loss can, you know, trigger the grieving process. So, you know, the, the denial, anger, all, all that, you know, cycle. Obviously, I'm not a therapist, I can't tell you the whole cycle, but... Yeah, it, it opened my eyes because I finally felt like I got an answer, you know, and that was my main thing. You know, I wanted to know why I felt this way. I wanted to know why I go through what I go through. And, you know, getting that answer really, really helped me out. And I'm, I'm happy that I, I got therapy and I was able to realize that, you know. She says I'm, I'm like an old man that's like reached the end point and that I, I feel like there's no tomorrow. And she's like, but the great thing about it is that I have a mature sense for it. And I was like, thanks, you know? <laughs> but, you know, I'm, I'm happy that I'm able to relate and go through what I've gone through because then you don't have to go through that alone, you know? Like I said, um, whether we meet or whether you watch this video, you know, I just hope you know that it's all gonna be okay. Um, give yourself time to feel, cry, be sad, talk about it. You know, hopefully if you leave a comment down below and. Tell me your experience. I'm able to respond and give you my take on it. And, you know, you can take it as is. Uh, whether you see me in person, you decide, I want to talk to you about this. Absolutely, you know. Um, it doesn't cost me anything to just hear someone out. And if I can prevent you from doing any harm to yourself, absolutely. And I'll take that millions and millions of times over. But that's what I want to talk about. Um, you know, I felt what I felt for the last month and I felt like I needed to get away and just kind of tell myself something that I've been doing is just tell myself shh like shh tell my brain you know 
just shh. Because the brain is a powerful, powerful thing. It literally just whatever you think really, really affects everything. So just taking that step back, reflecting on everything, being able to come out more positive. And I feel like the universe is hearing me because uh, I, I got a new job that you guys will see in the next video. I got, you know, my physique is looking incredible for what I, I like, you know. I'm finally getting abs. I'm finally just seeing goals. Um, and I have a lot of good things planned. And I'm very, very excited for what the future holds. And it's been a long time since I've been excited for what I'm able to accomplish, you know. And I hope this video just shows you it's going to be okay. You know, we're at the bottom right now. This is why I'm on the floor. This is rock bottom, but the only way out of rock bottom is up. So don't worry, your lowest point, you can only bounce back up. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, next one will be more fun. This was kind of very serious, uh, but like I said, I just hope it helps anyone that may be going through it, you know? Something my best friend always tells me is, we gotta live to fight the good fight another day. And that's all it is. Every single day, we fight the good fight but i'm gonna get to bed i gotta be up in a few hours it's like possibly one o'clock in the morning and i gotta be up at seven so that's fun <laughs> but i will see you guys in the next video so take care and remember i love you take care